I regret accepting Hager invitation to review Reflex RS. You want a resin printer that work out of the box and start production? You might find your answer with Hager Ultracraft Reflex RS. According to Hager, compared to the previous version, RS version is more affordable printer and resin. The printer body size is smaller compared to the previous model, but it has slightly bigger print size. With 10.1 inch 8K screen, so the pixel size is about 29.7 micron and slightly faster print speed compared to the predecessor. Hey Gear been around since 2015 in the professional industry and Reflex RS is their second product in consumer market. I feel useless in the face of this printer. It has automatic leveling, automatic heater, resin tank heater that can be purchased separately, dynamic motion algorithm that could adjust printing speed so the printer itself will automatically set the most optimal printing speed for you. And then force value monitoring system, it is very sensitive to detect residue in the resin tank. These are the things that I could observe with my own eyes. From what I understand, plenty more system working behind the screen to ensure you have the best print result with the most optimal print time. So you could focus on production and almost zero tinkering and of course more affordable price. You can find out more about those systems for Reflex RS on Hager website. Reflex RS has flip up cover. I'm not sure why they choose this color because it is very hard to pick inside to check your print progress. But maybe you don't need to because of all the system doing the hard work for you. And make sure you have 22 cm space behind the printer to fully open the cover. The hinge is great. It prevents the cover to drop if you leave it open. Outer shell mostly plastic. Back of the printer, you have the port for pulsing release module, which I don't have, so I cannot test it. Top back here is to insert the resin bottle for auto refill. Nothing fancy, just graffiti fit with one way valve in the bottle cap. Simple, but works. But be careful when removing the bottle. There is a chance that resin could drip to the plastic body. And make sure you wipe it clean to prevent the plastic body from cracking. Especially the bottle holder area, it is very tight. Okay, uh, when I try to remove the resin bottle, I notice uh, the resin drips to the side of the wall here. And right now I want to wipe it, but my hand is not so big, but I cannot reach in. Looks like I have to make some tools so I can wipe the inside. At the side, at the side of the printer, we have the USB. SD card, power button, and power plug. Uh, they are at a much better position, although they are at the side, but it is much better and easier to reach rather than at the back of the printer. So, I think this is a good placement. We have latch to lock the build plate. No more over tighten the knob, which is great. And the build plate, very comfortable to hold, but it is heavy for its size. It seems freaky for me because there no bolts for leveling at all oh about the latch it can press back so it is completely safe to forget the latch and close the cover very thoughtful from hager design team i had my moment of stupidity with the build plate i wish the top surface here is not flat like this because of the amount of resin still pulling at the top part here and i was too excited to try out the tilting tool this happens Mind you, I already let it sit for like an hour to let most of the resin drop off the plate. So I have to be extra careful each time I remove the plate. Or hopefully, Hager would listen to my plea and give some angle to the top surface here. So you could let resin flow and drip to the tank for their final release product. The amount that got spilled is a lot. Usually just a drip or two if I was being careless on other printers. The Z Tower and build arm look impressive and complex. It has ball screw with dual rail and cover to prevent resin splash to the rail. Look close here, we have sensor and at this side here, there is a cable to the build arm. I'm sure it got something to do with the automatic leveling and some detection sensor. Notice how the number change on the screen 
whenever I apply pressure to the build arm. I got no place to attach the dial indicator, so I have to skip it and rely on my test prints. And the stability torture test is one of the best results I ever have. The print is straight, no wobble, and the surface is very smooth. For the resin tank, we have this very clear indicator line, very nice pouring spout, and it pours very well. No resin drip to the side and bottom of the tank. And the thumb screw are built in. We have tank fit to prevent dust sticking. And this thing here help with resin reveal. RS resin tank does not have resin level detection. It works with the resin bottle on gravity and surface tension. And at the bottom of the resin tank, we have the RFID type. So the printer can tell the status of your resin tank, like checking the release film surface light. On light intensity test, UV light uniformity ranging from 5.4 to 6. I think it is quite good. What do you guys think? And the cover can block 100% UV light. For the noise, Reflex RS is quite loud, about 80 decibel. It's like turning on a room fan. I thought there is a mistake with this unit that I am reviewing because the feet are not even. And one of the foot at the back right corner, slimmer and taller compared to the other three. But according to Hegir, they purposely designed it like that. The slimmer foot is at fixed height, so you only need to adjust the other three. Touchscreen on user interface, very responsive. It can show you your printer status. In my video, it is showing up normal because I haven't placed the resin tank and bottle yet. It also shows temperature and humidity. That's right, humidity guys. That is why I also give out comment that it is useless to rely on copy other people's settings because not just the temperature might be different, but also humidity. The printer build quality might also differ even if they are the same type and brand because they are assembled by hand. But you don't have to worry about temperature and humidity because RS set all the printer setting for you. The slicer for this printer is called Blueprint. It is quite straightforward process, load your model, and then one click to auto-orient and support, or you could decide your own orientation, let Blueprint to support it for you. Overall, the support quality is good, but it will be better if there is more option to customize the support, especially remove support that is not needed because I cannot find the function. Print time estimate, super inaccurate. For example, Printing this stability tester model, slicers show four and a half hour print time. In reality, because the awesome dynamic motion algorithm, real print time only two hours, 47 minutes. So I guess it is a positive result. From all the printer that I reviewed, Reflex RS has one of the best auto leveling results. On my leveling test print, Result looks great and I can feel I am using equal force to remove the object across the plate. So this got me thinking. I wish I could adjust a bit the bottom exposure so I can glide easily to remove the objects. But this is just me being picky. I'm sure a lot of user, especially beginner, as long as the object sticks to the plate and no need to remove them with hammer and chisel is already good enough. I get curious, then open the side of the printer and find this floating base mechanism. Hager told me those are the floating base plate. Before each print, the printer performs automatic zeroing process where the floating base plate compensates for minor misalignments. Once the printing begins, the base plate locks into place and that is how the automatic leveling works. The RS sensor is very good to detect residue in the tank. It will not start printing if it detects there is any residue or dirt. Simply perform vat cleaning using the leftover support and you can safely peel off the cured layer. And when I measure the rough thickness that I place on different corners on four separate pins, they all give a good result. And checking the X and Y measurement, 
considering this is water washable resin usually has more shrinkage uh, compared to standard resin or specialty resin i would say the dimension is quite good i think i will reprint again with other resin that hager sent me and upload it as short videos so don't miss it but then i noticed one of the model that i printed got the nose and mouth cut off turns out there is a misalignment from the slicer platform and the printer screen but it should be an easy fix for hey gear if you like what you watch so far please like the video and subscribe to my channel or you could support me directly by becoming youtube or patreon member link in video description i'm glad that the entire lighting works but honestly i am not sure which setting worked best for me as of making of this video because this is the first time i am using blueprint slicer i will update this info in the future in video description unlike other slicers blueprint keep it simple only off then on or fast zero fast two and four first test with anti-aliasing off for main comparison with all the voxels clearly visible and then with anti-aliasing on or fast zero all the voxel edges are getting blurred and seems to be smooth with fast two the surface seems to be smoother with fast four somehow it seems to be less smooth compared to fast two from anti-aliasing off then fast zero two and four i do not see any difference on the egg details i don't want to go overkill with anti-aliasing settings so i am using the fast zero setting but i was wrong because on this big steering wheel i can see the artifact lines very clear so if you see any voxels on the print that i am showing in this video i am sorry <laughs> i'm too lazy to reprint them but i did cut out the screen of the steering wheel and keep it at the same angle then reprint with anti-aliasing fast 2 and this is why i can confirm anti-aliasing works on reflex rs the result on this screen surface is smooth no artifact lines or voxel all the letters on 0.1 width at the top here for this letter model they are very clear and sharp both extrude and emboss and at the back with 0.05 millimeter width emboss letter very clear extrude letters uh, kind of hard to read but overall this result is one of the best i ever printed for this wire mesh model the 0.3 and 0.2 thick wire are printed just fine but 0.1 do not survive at all uh that's okay if only i am able to tinker with the print setting i believe i can print the 0.1 wire mesh or maybe i could try another resin but not on this video too much that i want to test on this printer the video duration will be overkill and also not enough time if you are into custom action figure uh, this one six scale head sculpt the details are perfect all the pores and wrinkle details are sharp so i rescale the same head sculpt into 112 scale still reflex rs is able to capture the skin details reflex rs gives the best details ever on mare the red panda the bolts around the hood and 3d micon letters are super creeps and what blows my mind is it has the sharpest details on the stitching holes at the back of the head even when i zoom out i could still see them clearly you could watch my other review video to compare a little downside with reflex rs and the proprietary resin is you cannot do anything for the print setting so mare has little fail here at the front skirt but it should be an easy fix i could just use a bit bigger support tip this fly rider model has 0.1 millimeter support tip and some of the supports fail because there is no way i can make the support tip bigger because the model size and the thickness so it is okay on this lady samurai model print result is top notch the battle damage details on shoulder armor are very clear and sharp usually most printers struggle with this area the facial details are also good for the size of this model and if you are into hard surface model check out the lining details on this protogirl model 
Let me know in the comment section how do you like the details. I have goosebumps with this bad Pattinson model. Reflex RS able to bring out all the mouse details and the skin pores and the 5 o'clock shadow making it very realistic and lifelike. It's like looking at grayscale image of the character. And you will be surprised from what I am about to tell you. Usually when doing printer review, I will use 0.025mm layer height to bring out the best detail from the printer that I review. Since I cannot do anything with the printer setting and I am using Hey Gear Water Washable Resin, the only layer height that I could choose from their available setting is 0.05mm or 50 micron. Yes, Reflex RS is that good. The 0.05mm layer height print result can even match, maybe even better compared to other 0.025mm layer height on other printer. Some of them even comes with smaller XY resolution compared to RS with only 29.7 micron XY resolution. You can watch my other review video to compare the print result with Reflex RS. And all of the models that I printed in this video are supported on other slicer. I figure it would be fun uh, to test print them without Blueprint Slicer Auto Support. Although two of the models have some support failure, but the results are mind-blowing for the rest of the model. Considering the regular price for this printer is a grand minus one dollar, not the early bird price, okay? It is the regular price, so it is a most professional grade printer at a consumer price. Yes, the downside is that it comes with proprietary resin, but I think the price is reasonable, starting from $32.9. With Reflex RS, there is no steep learning curve, no headache with build plate leveling, and print setting, and affordable price. No wonder Heger is very confident to send me their product review. Thank you for that, Heger. For me, as a small YouTuber that got rejected countless times by some other company, even when I'm paying for their product, they say shipping is uh, limited to my country, yet I know my friend in the same country can buy the printer from them just fine. Maybe because they know how rigorous my tests are in my review. So, uh, it is hard for me to say this. I think Reflex RS is the best resin 3D printer that I ever reviewed so far. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. And thank you to all my Patreon member and YouTube member with all your kind support.